The other thing is we currently witness that the expansion of the universe is speeding up, not slowing down. Since the 1920s, everybody thought that, yes, the universe is expanding, but it will slow down over time. Why? Because gravity pulls things back together. You throw an apple upward, it doesn't go up faster and faster. It goes up slower and slower because the Earth's gravity pulls it back. Everybody thought that would apply to the universe as a whole. It's expanding, but expanding ever slower. The observations in 1998, culminated in 1998, which won the 2011 Nobel Prize, showed that the distant galaxies are moving away ever more quickly. The expansion of space is speeding up over time. It's accelerating. How do we explain that? The best explanation we currently have is repulsive gravity. We believe even today, the universe is suffused with a bath of energy. We call it dark energy. We believe it's uniformly going through space. I like to think of it almost like a, as a Turkish sauna. It's like the steam filling the sauna, this energy filling space. And that repulsive gravity, we believe, is responsible for the observations that the distant galaxies are rushing away faster and faster over time. So it's circumstantial, but the case for repulsive gravity is quite strong. And what would have caused it to coalesce? What would have caused it to compress in, in initially? Like, yeah. why would all that matter be in this tiny, yeah. less than a pin sized yeah. object? So I have no idea. And nobody else on planet Earth has any real idea other, but we do have theories. And one of the theories suggests that in the very early universe, it was a highly chaotic environment, very hot with all the fields fluctuating wildly up and down. And the idea would be that if you wait long enough, where it's hard to know what wait means in this environment, but don't press me on my definition of time back then, just sort of intuitively. If you wait long enough on rare occasions, the energy will just happen to flatten out in a region, become uniform, and then that region explosively inflates, grows large. So, you know, it's, imagine you're looking at um, a, 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 a pot of boiling water. The surface is, of course, widely undulating up and down. But if you wait long enough, very long time, since you've never seen it, neither have I, there will be a little patch on the surface of that boiling water that flattens out. Why? That only means that the water molecules happen for an instant to be moving in just the right way to keep that little patch of water from wildly bubbling. It will happen, it's rare, but if you wait long enough, it will occur. Similarly, the widely undulating fields in the early universe, if you wait long enough, a patch will flatten out, you get the uniform energy, plug it into Einstein's equations, that region explosively inflates. And I mean explosively. It can go from a size that's much less than an atomic diameter to larger than the observable universe in far less than a blink of an eye, in 10 to the minus 30, 10 to the minus 35 seconds. That's how powerful repulsive gravity can be.